one of the key things to working with stroke, both in terms of the family member and in terms of the person who was injured, is being able to recognize exactly where the injured person is. Just how much function do I have post-stroke? Can I move my hand? Can I live by myself? Can I walk without falling down? These, these are the things that I have to be able to pay attention to. Many things get in the way of being able to do that. If I've been brain injured, I'm very confused. Things that used to happen the way they once happened don't happen that way anymore. When I think about my hand, it doesn't work. I'm very confused. So I'm having trouble thinking clearly. I'm also not often willing to accept just how injured I am. I may want to turn away from it. I may want to deny it. That won't help me and it won't help the family member. Family members have the role and the opportunity to gently help we survivors understand just how limited we are. And one of the ways they're able to do that is to hold the hope for rehabilitation. So we can both teach what it is that's true and say, you don't have to remember, you don't have to be stuck there. You have the opportunity to work with it. The more I'm able to look at exactly what's happening, the more I'm able to work with it. I actually have a better chance to recover if I accept what's true. For family members, this can be very frustrating because they think that the person who's injured is operating this on the same kind of rational basis that they used to, but we're not. We're not. We have all these emotions. We have fear. We have grief. We have all this confusion. We don't know what's happened to us. So you as a family member can help us by helping us hold just how big this injury is, by being patient with us and over and over again showing us what's true at the same time holding out hope and possibility for what could be. It's been wonderful talking with you. If there is anything further that I can share with you, if you have any questions, if there's anything else I might do, please visit me at my website, www.healingintopossibility.com. Thank you.